So I, I personally think that whenever I'm experiencing an emotion during a movement lesson, that is grist for the mill. That is information. That is something I'm learning about myself, right? To, to recognize that <clears throat> this shoulder movement is pissing me off. I mean, that, that, is, that is gigantic. Um, when I was in my training, there was a period uh, where the eminent Larry Goldfarb was teaching a segment of our training. And we happened to be doing movements on our hands and knees. Uh, I hadn't even at that point put together that we might actually be working towards crawling and cross patterning. We were just on our hands and knees and I was trying to figure out what to do with my hands. And I remember this voice in my head that was saying, I hate this, I hate this, I hate Larry. I hate everything about this. This is making me so unhappy. And that anger created a muscle spasm in my, in my back. And so I called my mother out of curiosity and I said, mom, what was my crawling like? And there was this huge long gap of silence. And then she said, well, you didn't. And I'm like, what do you mean? I didn't. She goes, you never crawled. And here I am, I'm, I'm 40 years old. I've been a performer for 25 years and I didn't know that I had never crawled. And so suddenly the whole history of my life unfolded that I was, you know, that, that I never crawled, that I went straight into walking, that I lurched everywhere, that I was a total klutz and that that was why they sent me to ballet. And because I went to ballet is why I ended up where I was. And here I was in the Feldenkrais method in a training on my hands and knees being really angry because I didn't know how to crawl. And that process of anger was what created my investigation. If I had tried to make a joke about it in that moment, or if I had tried to blow it off, I would not have had that level of learning as I, as I did that. So I think that sometimes when I have an emotional reaction, I don't want to turn it into humor. I want to see where it's taking me. I want to be curious. You know, like you said, that person that didn't want to cry, you know, if it's habitual, if, I'm, if I cry after every session, there's something there to be investigated. And if I'm always trying to joke, that also means that there's something that needs to be investigated. So I think that every emotion needs to find its appropriate place, its proper place. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Yeah, I also want to say something about the connection between uh, laughter from the perspective of absolute joy and pleasure and laughter as a result of embarrassment, fear, nervousness, and how they're, they're, they feed different parts of ourselves. So, uh, you know, the, from the perspective of, you know, of any of the emotions, there is a breath pattern. There is a posture. I think Odette spoke a lot about that during the summit, for those of you who remember Odette's presentation. And one of the interesting things about um, laughter is that we take in this big inhale and then we exhale it out. And if you think about when you watch um, puppies or kittens, when they're playing with each other and throwing each other around, right? And after a while, they're kind of going, <laughs> which is, uh, you know, according to Darwin anyway, uh, that is the, the, the primitive uh, e expression of laughter, of joy that we have when we go, ha, 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 ha. And with fear, we take in the inhale, but we don't let it out. And when we have that shock or embarrassment or whatever, we take it in and then we try to get rid of it. <laughs> It, it, it's got that level of discomfort to it, which is very different, and tension to it, which is very different from <laughs> just letting it go. And finding, you know, recognizing when I'm using laughter to cover up my fear versus a really relaxed laugh, I think is important. 
And one of the things that I think is really important for us as Feldenkrais practitioners is to begin to start to recognize what patterns people are in and whether they're telling a joke to cover discomfort versus they're just feeling really relaxed with you. 